there's now a way in Surecart that you can manually add a customer to an order, or another way of saying it is manually create an order where you add a customer and then fulfill that order for them without them having to pay or with them paying if they have a payment method on file. Before we walk through that, let me give you just a little bit of setup. For example, I have a product called Thrive with Surecart. It's a course, and that course comes with, if I scroll down here, a bunch of different downloads like design packs, some code for forms, etc. And I really want anyone that purchases this product to be able to get access to these downloads inside of, if I come over here, on the dashboard on my site. I want them to be able to click on my account and then I want them to be able to come to my downloads and here right within this Surecart customer portal section embedded right inside of my uh, Thrive built dashboard, I want them to be able to see their downloads. Now, if they were not added to the product, right? If they weren't added to this product here in Surecart, they would not have access to these downloads. Instead, I'd have to uh, go into Thrive Apprentice and add them at a Thrive Apprentice level and they would not be here. So to further clarify that, if I added a user manually inside of Thrive Apprentice, which is the course membership platform that I use, the same would apply to really whatever you're using. But if I add them here, and let's say I wanted to give them my Thrive with Surecart course, I could do that. I could manually give them access, name, email, Thrive with Surecart. I could even notify them by email. The system will give them a login automatically. It's actually quite good. But here's the problem. Doing it this way would give them access to the Thrive Apprentice course, but over here, it would not give them access to the product in Surecart, and that's what controls giving them access to the downloads here. Now, the reason I gave you all that setup is because I wanted to emphasize why I think that this feature of manual orders is important if you're like me and want it to work the way that I just described. So let's walk through the very simple process and show you the options available to add somebody into a manual order. You just go to your order section in Surecart on the left hand side, you'll find orders and then add new, or you can click on orders and click, uh, a, there's a blue button that says add order. All you have to do is over here on the right hand side, first thing first, select a customer. We've selected my demo user and then we add a product. You can click on the blue button here and then we can find a product to add. Let's go ahead and stay with my Thrive with Surecart example. We'll select the product price point that we want. You can see it's been added here and you can see that there is a total. Now, here's the difference. We do not actually have to click add payment method. If we do not add a payment method and in the top right hand corner, if we click create order, this will go through without payment. However, we can click add payment method and you'll see that if the user has a payment method on file, it will be added here. If they don't have a payment method on file, then you cannot add a payment method. That's pretty obvious. You can add a tax ID, shipping and tax information if you uh, have a physical product or need to charge tax. And then you can also view the customer here. If let's say this was a client of yours and you were trying to process a payment manually, we can click view customer. It will open up in a new tab, info about this particular customer, previous orders that they've placed. As you can see here, there are no payment methods on file. Uh, and this is the customer section. Similar to orders, let's say your customer did not exist already. You could go in the Surecart left-hand menu, go to customers, add new. You could enter the customer's name and the email, create them as a customer in your system. And then you could go through the exact same process that we were just going through. So after you've chosen a payment method or chosen to give this to them for free, you can click create order and you will see a little pop-up that says confirm manual payment. So it says that this will create an order that requires a manual payment. Like if your customer were going to send you a cash or a check. However, we also have the ability just to fulfill it, which I'll show you. So let's click create order. You can see here that it says processing and unfulfilled. We can just click fulfill item and that'll automatically give it to them. So we can click fulfill item there and then just click fulfill item. And you can see that it has been fulfilled. There is no shipping on this. And then we can up here in the upper right hand corner, we can choose to mark this as paid, which is what I'll just go ahead and do. Just click it mark as paid or don't mark it as paid if that makes better sense for your reporting. And then you've basically fulfilled this for the user and given it to them for free. At the time of recording this particular video, there is no ability for you to zero out the order. That is feedback that I have sent to Surecart already. I would like a way to say fulfill and zero out the order. I think that would be better for reporting as well as for the notifications that the customer receives that an order was placed and fulfilled for them. I think it might be confusing for the customer to receive an email that says thanks for your order, $2.99. However, 
the way that we're doing it this way, you are actually manually granting something to somebody. And that means I assume that you've had some kind of communication with them. So you can always email them and say, hey, Doug, I'm giving you access to this course. You're going to get an email. It's going to look like you paid, but don't worry, you didn't. You got the course for free. Enjoy. Something like that. I think that's still a great customer experience. And it shows that you put a personal touch in there. You went in, you fulfilled it, and they're in the system.